Hello traders, this is Fahd Razak Zada, market analyst for City Index. Today is the 18th of June 2024. So we've seen the dollar sell off a little bit on the back of the retail sales data, which came out earlier uh, with the uh, core sales coming in at negative 0.1% versus 0.2% expected with the previous reading also being revised lower. There's not much uh, in terms of uh, key economic data from the US this week, but we do have plenty of macro pointers from the UK, uh, for example, uh, including CPI on Wednesday. The Bank of England's policy decision is on Thursday, and we have retail sales on Friday, as well as the global PMIs, which will be in focus on Friday. So let's look forward to then. Now, the dollar index has turned lower uh, after being higher earlier, and this has caused the uh, major currency pairs like the Aussie dollar to uh, turn positive. The Aussie dollar continues to hold above 65.80 support and it has just gone back above the 21 day exponential moving average which is a potentially bullish sign but overall it remains inside this consolidation phase it needs to break out of the zone uh, in order to start a fresh trend. The weaker US retail sales data has also helped to support the pound which has now turned positive on the session uh, if only just uh, rising back above the 26.90 level which uh, was a pivotal level in recent trade. We also have the added UK elections uncertainty uh, to take into account and that may hold the currency pair back um, inside a holding pattern. Overall there's no clear directional bias at the moment with uh, rates trading inside a range and the same could, could be said about the euro dollar as well. You know we've seen uh, a bit of uh, volatility in recent days uh, moving below the 200 day moving average at the end of last week and holding below it as well. So that 107.85 level uh, is going to be key to watch for as long as we remain below that, the path of least resistance is likely to be to the downside. But uh, if the dollar falls across the board because of uh, continued weakness in US data, then that's something that could help support the euro. All told, however, with the French elections taking place uh, at the end of the month, this is going to keep uh, the euro dollar uh, inside a tight range until we see the outcome of the election results. In the commodities space, keep an eye on silver because it is bouncing on this bullish trend line and support at 28.70. So far it has held this level but remains below the pivotal $30 level which uh, had been resistance in the past uh, before we broke above it uh, in May. Uh, and uh, the subsequent failure to hold above that level has uh, muddled the technical outlook a little bit. But we do need to see a move back above that area around 30 to potentially trigger a fresh wave of technical buying above that level. So uh, that could be uh, on the cards with uh, US data weakening, uh, which is kind of weighing on bond yields and the dollar and this in turn is helping to support precious metals. So a bullish breakout is still on the cards I think but we need to see some confirmation here. Now crude oil prices have stormed back uh, creating this v-shaped recovery breaking in the process above this bearish trend line that had been in place for a few months. We've now moved above the 200 day moving average which has now provided support on the retest earlier today uh, before extending its gains. Right now, crude oil is testing the May high at 80.63 and a break above that level could pave the way for further short-term gains uh, in the days ahead. If crude oil manages to break above the May high, then what we could do is plot our Fibonacci retracement levels and the first level of retracement comes in at 81.63. That's the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level followed by the 78.6% at 84.12. So that, those are some of the um, key kind of invisible uh, resistance levels to watch uh, in the event the rally can gather pace. On the downside, given the uh, V-shaped recovery we've seen, uh, crude oil will need to hold uh, its breakout above 79 and the 200-day moving average, which comes in at 79.30ish. Uh, uh, so that area needs to be defended to maintain this bullish trend. The line in the sand now is at 77.80ish area, which uh, is where we saw the uh, onset of this week's rally. For more market insights, make sure to check out the news and analysis section at cityindex.com. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.